So being the least uh, experienced rider here, I know why I got into eventing. Um, I was actually at a show jumping show and I broke my hand and I had to go down to help a friend in Natal. And all the riders were so friendly to me in the warm up, I couldn't understand if they thought I was somebody that I, that I looked like somebody. And then that's when I met all you guys and obviously that's why I carried on with the eventing because I just thought the, the people were so friendly and welcoming and helpful. and. I mean, I remember meeting you there and you were so nice to me and I was like, it's Graham Wynn, you know. <laughs> so that's why, why I stuck with the venting at the end of it. And it's always a good party. Yes. <laughs> They're always, good. A, good always party. a good party. Always a good party. I think it's been very interesting if I look at um, eventing and it's only really dawned on me now that I have started show jumping a little bit more, how easy it was to event when you had access to a lot of different outrights and the production of a young event horse was so much easier. And I found that producing an event horse was a lot easier and easier to understand for the horse than it, uh, it was in the show jumping or it is in the show jumping. And um, it was only now that I haven't been going on outrights and haven't been producing the horse thinking of eventing every day and started to think more about the show jumping, have I realized I've taken such a lot of that natural instinct away from the horses. We're talking about like, we st okay, we still do that with young horses, but I mean, you talk about like 50, I'm talking about 50 years ago, which is very scared. How did we, scary, how did we get so old? Okay, right? I've seen on Facebook <laughs> things that you do with your horses still to this day, that you do a lot of outrights and naturally play of a lot of the natural obstacles. Yeah, no, and do. doing that, you're preparing a horse to actually event. You're yeah. preparing a horse to have a little bit of self-initiative, mm. he, he, that, 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 that self-preservation, mm. however you do it. And they learn an incredible balance and an ability to read a situation. Yeah. And I think uh, that is why you've done so well in your show jumping. You've always managed to do that with your young horses on outrights. And yeah. basically, if we think of it, an outright is a small event, a but small you know, cross-country course. Things are, many, many years ago were so different. I mean, my mom ran a riding school, like, as I say, 50 years ago. And we always used to go on outrights. If she taught people to ride, she never taught them in the school. They were always taught on outrights. So that was the, the biggest thing we did. We always went on outrights. You very, very seldom find kids these days doing outrides. Also, it's more built up. Yeah. Uh, um, and and another big thing, we used to hunt. Mm. We used to go oh. on the hunt. And the hunt, again, has changed hugely over the years because there's nowhere it's for people to hunt, hunt anymore. I'd like okay, to but let's look back just cut it. to the chase. <laughs> How many <laughs> times did you win SA Champs? You yes. won SA Champs 10 times. <laughs> well, it more than. It's is 13. It is oh. it 13 times? Actually, it's 14. 50. Okay, <laughs> okay but 10 times in a row. I mean, yeah. that's ridiculous. Yeah, I, yeah. Just... He starts saying about how badly he showed him. <laughs> how many yeah. flippin' times did, was I one point behind you at SHS and you didn't knock a pole? Not a pole. And I was saying, how I many could, times? I could lift my was higher than yeah. you. Yeah, those <laughs> elbows worked hard, eh? Those elbows worked hard. No, Gail, I hear what you said. I think qualifying to go to WIG was yeah. most probably my biggest uh, achievement. And then staying on and competing in Europe. I think um, I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. and. All I, what I wanted was younger people to realise it was doable. You never improve a sport by dropping the, the standard. The standard no. You never do. And, mm. and that's, I think, also a huge mistake mm. that's been made. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. all those courses have been put down and changed. And, you know, they took them from being three star or four star now down fences. And they were never rideable as oh. a meter yeah. fence no, or no, no, in the position they were, they were too difficult. And so it put a lot of people off. Um, it did put a lot of people and off. And those lovely courses that were there, all gone. Yeah. But, you know, but saying that again, um, I just, thanks to Facebook, just look at this new venue in Natal. Mount oh. It's you know, absolutely It's stunning. all about a venue. And I go up to Azaluna and to oh, Arlington, and Zimbabwe, and it's unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. And they were growing the sports. Yeah. It's not like... It but can't get back to what it was, Gail. They can with, do it, yeah. Achievements, yes. Um, I think, again, riding for South Africa in Zim um, on two occasions now has been something that was great for me. But I want to aspire to what 
Graham and Paul have done, and I believe it is possible. I think if we put our minds to it and put the effort in um, and have the likes of Graham and even Gail, because there's so much we can learn from you, yeah. and, and Paul helping and you getting there again, yes. I, I think it is doable. And for me, that would be, that would be an achievement. But having ridden for my province so many times and us having great shows and, and going to Zim, those experiences, more than just the winning of it, the, the experiences are, are for me the, the best part.